Here we go again, another feature drop, another version for the uh, Tonex One open source uh, controller project. This is version 107. Now the big feature that I've added here is a new web editor. So what it allows is control over all the Tonex parameters and um, pram uh, preset switching all via a, a web browser. So any, any device that has Wi-Fi, iOS, Android, phone, tablet, iPad, Windows, whatever you like, all can be used. So let's start off looking at uh, the new Wi-Fi options uh, first of all. So in addition to the existing mode that was in there beforehand, which was uh, access point mode, we now have the option of uh, station mode. Now station mode is uh, like a phone would do, where the controller actually connects to your home Wi-Fi network, uh, which then allows you to use any device on the same network uh, to connect and um, can control it. Uh, we have another new feature in here for uh, screen rotation, which has been re um, requested a few times. So we now have the ability to rotate the screen 180 degrees. Um, I haven't done any portrait modes because that requires quite a big uh, user interface um, redesign of uh, all the um, all the boards that have LCD displays. So let's let's put it back to zero. So next up we have our MIDI options. These are the same options that uh, the previous version had. And Bluetooth options as well. Much the same thing as, as uh, previously. And then we have all the Tonex parameters. The like, gate, compressor, EQ, reverb, modulation, delay and amplifier. All available for editing. And uh, these are synchronized between the pedal, the web interface, and the LCD user interface, in the case of the 4.3B, uh, have full bi-directional syncing. So if you change something on any controller, then that change is reflected on the other uh, interface, uh, and of course the, the pedal. Uh, in the EQ area, I have a lot more uh, screen space, so I have an addition of uh, the ability to adjust the frequencies of bass, mid and treble, and also the Q value for the mid filter. Uh, now you can also change presets straight from the web editor, so you have a drop down with um, 20 presets in there. Uh, as each preset is loaded, then that number also has the preset name. It gets remembered. Uh, so over time, we'll end up with a complete list that has uh, all the names in there. I've thought about pre-synchronizing all of that. Uh, we might do that at some point, but for now at least, I think it's fairly usable. So there you have it. Uh, version 107 is available now. It's in the beta folder on uh, GitHub. If you have any bug reports or any feedback, hit me up. Thanks.